What's up guys, it's Brandon Lobb and today we're discussing my Sony a7 III auxiliary output. It doesn't work. So if you have a Sony a7 III and this happens to you, I'm gonna show you one thing that you should have in your camera bag to be prepared for any situation. If you're out on a shoot, you will be able to get crispy, clean audio and that's what I'm using right now for this video. So let's roll that intro. Welcome back to another episode. And if it's your first time here, we talk filmmaking, we fly drones, and we do vlogs, tutorials. So if you're into that kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button. But let's talk what happened today on the Sony a7 III. I went to plug in my Sony a7 III today, and I used a lav mic, and I went back here and found no audio levels, which I thought, that's kind of weird. I had no audio. So I decided, let's try to plug in the Rode mic. Same thing, no audio levels. And I decided to do my research and found out online that this is quite common with the Sony a7 III cameras. And it's happened to me, other YouTubers and content creators. But if this happens to you, I wanna show you what you can use as a backup audio source because it's always better to be safe than sorry because if you're on a shoot and your camera goes down, you could have this one thing that I prefer. It's the Zoom H1N external audio recorder and that's what I have plugged in right now. And it creates great quality audio. I have it recording me. And if you don't have one of these, this will save you, especially if you're on a shoot and you need audio. The cool thing about the H1N is you can actually plug it into the hot shoot of your camera and you can use this mic like a shotgun mic. Yes, I said it, like a shotgun mic. This is really cool, but the one thing about it is when you're editing it in post, you're gonna have to match the video file to the audio file and sync them together. That's kind of a pain, but the thing is you're gonna have good quality audio. And another thing about this mic is that you can put it in your pocket it's great on the go and you always have it. It's great for sound design too. And one more thing is when you're buying camera equipment, always buy the warranty because I didn't know this was gonna happen today with my camera. And I was like, might as well make a YouTube video about it because you never know with technology, things change even when you do take care of them. So buy that warranty so you can go in and get your stuff fixed. And hope you guys liked that video. And if you did, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and I will see you on future episodes. Thanks again for tuning in. And if you noticed in this episode, I'm not wearing a hat, it's because I finally got a haircut. It's been a while, but that's enough said about that, guys. I will see you on future episodes. Let's go.